On Tuesday, visitors to Yellowstone National Park fled as Steamboat went back to work. But unlike Old Faithful, its eruptions were anything but predictable. Now, a new analysis suggests that at least one of Steamboat's recent eruptions was triggered by a small earthquake. The quake was a magnitude 3.9, and its epicenter was about seven miles from Steamboat, which is in the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. Then Alexa ran over right after the quake to see if Steamboat was doing anything. And right after the quake, everyone seemed scared, recalls Mara Reed, a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley. But about eight hours later, whoosh, Steamboat had one of its big eruptions, which can shoot water hundreds of feet into the air. However, a few hours after Steamboat erupted, another magnitude 4.1 earthquake struck with an epicenter about 100 miles away, scientists say. And it's possible that the geyser that was about to erupt was pushed over the edge by some seismic shaking, said Michael Poland of the US Geological Survey, who heads the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Then, Michael Poland said, the world only has about a thousand geysers and about half of them are in Yellowstone. In the geyser world, Steamboat is something of a rock star. It's big and it can also go mysteriously dormant for years. When it does wake up and become active, it can erupt every few days or it can erupt weeks or months apart. <laughs> 